It looks like for today's video, I decided to play every game my own, but this time it's going to be different again because I decided to buy a brand new game today, and that is... That's right everybody, we are finally playing Alone in the Dark Remake. Funny thing is, is that the original Alone in the Dark came out back in 1992, but this one is a complete remake. Alone in the Dark is a 2024 survival horror video game developed by Pieces Interactive and also published by THQ Nordic. And like what I said earlier, this game is a reimagined of the original 1992 Alone in the Dark. So when you try to do the comparisons, like yeah, there's really like no point at all. And also if you're looking into buying this game, you can buy it on the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X and S, and also on PC. Sadly, not on the PlayStation 4 or the original Xbox One or the other bloody things they have on it. But anyway, we're going to play the game for a couple of hours and see how the game feels. Is it worth it? And I'm going to do my review at the end of the video. But anyway, everybody, sit back and relax. Let's get into it. Yep, yeah, knowing my luck, I am going to sit down on my amazing chair and crack open a can of Monster. Ah, well, we're finally on Alone in the Dark after waiting for a very long time for this game. What's going on, guys? My name's Jonathan. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and night so far. And for today's video, like what I said at the beginning of the video, we are playing Alone in the Dark. So basically for the video, we're gonna just gonna sit back and relax, see how the game feels. Is the game even worth it as well? But besides that, everybody, sit back and relax. Let's get into the video. Great introduction right here, everybody. We got a f***ing frog. Okay, never mind. Choose a character. Ooh. Emily Hartwood. Oh, Edward Cunby. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be him. So no mind like I'm gonna go around to a different area while she's gonna knock at the door. Oh, hello. And we'll never see each other ever again. Oh, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like chapter one. Yeah, that's it. All right. Look for a way inside the house. Well, I'm already in the house, but okay. So hang on. Is this like a Resident Evil style game or something? Honestly, I have never played the original before because I did hear there's like a remake. And I did hear about this game a while ago and I was like, why not? Oh yeah, this is just basically just Resident Evil, but alone in the dark. <laughs> I mean, I can't complain about that. I mean, Resident Evil 2, 3, and 4 were bloody good, man. Let me just go around here and be the boss I am. But dude, I still remember when they would like announce like their first delay, I think. And I was like, God Damn it! I think this game was gonna come out like October or something, and also and they like, oh, it's gonna be at least I'm playing March. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna go down here and be like, oh no! Okay, I used to do this back on Resident Evil games. I look everywhere. I always go all over the place until I find something. I mean, overall, let's just keep going. Well, that was one way to do it. And hey, look, okay, first achievement. <laughs> I'm supposed to open the front door by instead of just walking around like, yeah, let's grab everything. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Right, so now I'm gonna go and deal with this again. Oh, wow. That's striking. I want to save this one. I'm done. <laughs> Nope. I don't even know what the storyline is about at the moment, but this is absolutely yeah. I swear to God, if anything comes out of this f room, I'm gonna lose it. Oh shit! <laughs> I missed. Oh, I need to reload, but I can't reload. <laughs> yeah. Okay, finally. I missed about six bullets. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. What the f is going on? Sir, do you have any? Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna let him get inside, compare. They're not the good guy. You know, surprising things, compare. Yeah. The mama lower. The mama lower. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. I'm just gonna have a look like the boss I am. How does this make any sense about this area being safe when it's all glass? Hmm, I don't know if I'm supposed to go down here. Oh, shit. Mine's about that playing monster from, like, the thing or something. I have no idea what I'm saying. And the one thing I realize is that there's an audio delay on your weapon. So every time you try to shoot, it's like a one second delay. So if you're watching the video and you're wondering where is the audio, yeah, I'm very sorry about that, but that was not my fault. Two, three, four. No. <laughs> Damn! Axe. Oh, hell yeah. Got a revolver and an axe and a key. Yep, yeah, this is me. I am the dream squad of the future. Oh, oh shit. Come here. Come here. Ah. Ooh. Oh my god, that's so like anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, look at that. Another, okay. I really thought that these like animations would like have more like a kick in it. But no, it's like. Uh, uh. Oh, fuck. oh no. Oh shit. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 
You get oh, oh okay, I work. You a monster with a rock. This, oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the corner again. Oh my god. Welcome to play Indiana Jones. Look for the number combination. Oh no. B58. Okay. I must be absolute hell. I got barely any ammo on the corner. Definitely not because I'm missing half my bullets. Detective. I was wondering. What the fuck? Going to <laughs> I don't think I understand what's going on anymore. We've got detective, detective, with a woman, with a woman, with a kid, with a, uh, the, a yeah. Oh, that was, oh, okay. Chapter two, okay. Find the what the what the fuck. Holy crap, dude, there's so much to do. The map has been updated. Well, thanks, game. Oh, damn it, dude. I can't get that yet. No! Oh, shit. Man, this is definitely what happens during the early days of my lifetime, ain't it? I need to get out of here. What my, huh? Oh, there, come on. Wow, so, oh, fuck. Now we're just gonna keep walking until we hope for the best. What, what? Why? Man, it's really turning into like the time that when people just go, what the hell was going on? Then I started proceeding through the campaign and all of a sudden I had to do a mission to go and fix a bloody clock. This took almost half an hour. Oh, okay. I gotta fix the clock. Ah, oh, shit. Then right after finding out I had to fix the clock, I had to go around to find these little pieces so I could do a little puzzle afterwards. The only problem was that doing all these puzzles to get the piece took way too long and I started to lose my bloody marbles. Examine the paintings. Painting. Uh, uh, oh, wait too long for a broken plate. Yeah, I'm out of here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Broken plate, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, crap, this is gonna take me a while. Oh, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> oh, fucking long enough. Jesus Christ. But I spend more time walking around trying to sort things out than actually getting freaking enemy kills. When the end there, please say to me, is when the end there, when the end there. Oh my god. Look for Jammy inside the hateful mind. Ah, oh, give me a chance to can play it off. Okay. If I can get as much ammo as possible, that'll be great because knowing my luck, I am going to miss a lot of bullets with a locked door. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, locked door after blade, locked door. What's next? Locked door. <gasps> Five bullets, telling me it takes five bullets to kill a single enemy. Oh, shit. Uh, two, three, four. Oh, that was four bullets that time. Make up your mind, game, will ya? Come on, you fuckers. I know you're around here. I'm not scared of anything anymore. Best of something I don't really know what I'm trying to say. This whole video recording is just weird. It's like the bloody blue pill or the red pill. For the blue pill, you can sit here and have a good time. Or the red pill, you can... Oh, fuck me. Oh, my God. It's right near me, but I don't know where it even is. <laughs> Come here. Oh. Please don't you dare do this to me. Don't you dare. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> no, I just realized that it's actually an audio delay. Oh, hear that fucker right there. Fuck a miss. Miss again. Oh, oh God. God. There's somebody in. <gasps> yes. It's not but too bad. No. <laughs> That face doll. Ammo, ammo. Thank God. I definitely need that after missing those bullets again. Press Y to sneak. Could have told me this the whole time. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I hate being sneaky in games. I'm never a fan of them. I want to go loud and clear, but no, this game's like, hey, John, go and get fucked. Okay, very careful. Very careful. Can't risk it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't do anything stupid. Be very quiet, please. Can't risk my time going doing this again. Don't go there. There. <laughs> no, 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 climb, get, get up, get the f up, get up. There we go. <laughs> it's all fire now. Oh, hang on, do I have to get out of here? Man, that would suck if you were down there. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't forget your hat. Walk off like a badass I am. Definitely did not mean to destroy anything. Where am I going now? Fuck. Oh, fuck. The f is that? Reindeer from Blaze Santa Claus or something? What the hell? Okay, I don't know what that was, but I am kind of just walk away. I'm trying to sneak around, but you know how much I hate sneaking in video games? Oh, shit. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, shit, get back. <laughs> oh, my. That looks fucking awesome, though. I'm not going to lie. Ah! Oh, good one. <laughs> well, I'm alive. Does this mean I can get the shotgun now? I, ca I can't even break it. Oh. Blue's oh, clue. He <laughs> just found a letter. <laughs> it's fine. An uh, upgrade, oh, now a cutscene. And so many cat. What the fuck? I, Mr. Hartwood is I'm nowhere near for... my kitchen, and neither should you be. Don't make I, me I kick you out of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, sick. All right. This really reminds me of the Resident Evil remakes because he constantly keep going back and forth, back and forth everywhere all the time, which I'm not complaining about though. But if people like see like like the resemblance on it, then yeah, I can understand where they're coming from. But I'm just like, it did the way. What you got there? You drawing something? That is definitely not creepy at all, Matt. Come on. Still, I'm gonna spend almost bloody like half an hour of my bloody time trying to find out what the hell I'm supposed to be looking at. But yeah, it's fine. And by the good old style of the YouTube fashion, all we have to go do is just press the button of the editing and we'll be right to where we are. Oh, another cutscene. I like how it says rum. So it's like people are living here and don't even know that that's happening or am I just not paying attention to what's actually going on? I press that one there, but this one here, do a plus sign, negative sign. What am I doing? Oh, that will, oh. <laughs> Okay, look for the numbers on the bottle. What do you think I'm doing? So that's 2, 5, 18? 2 to the 5 to the 7. 2, 5, 7. Okay. So I'll try 2, 5, 7. Oh, I did it. Man, I really spent a lot of time trying to sort out all this bull crap. Man, I'm spending more time looking at Oh my god, I can get the shotgun. Yes. Oh, that looks beautiful. And I cannot wait to use that when I get the chance. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh shit, let's get the f***ing tits out of here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get out of here. Oh my god, this, this is actually really hard. This game's pretty challenging, I'm not gonna lie, dude. And we go back to normal. Uh, come over here, then I turn off the... It was here the whole time. It was here the whole time. I spent almost like half an hour going through all of that just to find... Okay, uh, I swear to God, I hope there's nothing bad gonna happen to... Got my shotgun ready just in case if anything happens, you know. Yep, that's what I just said. That was such a delay. <laughs> Jeremy? You tell me. Uh oh. Broken plate. Yeah, I meant to do that, you know. It's fine, don't worry about that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna take another one on my bloody phone. Let me just get my phone out and take a photo of that. Okay. Okay, let's do it. That one up there. This is gonna take such a long time. Maybe <laughs> okay, with that one there. No, that's not right. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, please tell me there's nothing. Oh, um. <laughs> Okay, you're too good at this, mate. Yeah, I, I wonder why. Oh, slow tremor. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, shit. Die! Die! Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Get out of here. Let's go. This is gonna be really bad. I got no more health. Could be because my dumb ass keep on using it. Oh my god, thank you. God. Who would ever thought of drinking will solve problems? I don't drink, so I don't know. Okay, okay. Get for the crack, get for that crack, get in there. I've never thought about saying that in my future. Right. Yeah. Nothing down there, okay. Got my shotgun ready. <laughs> oh shit. Wow, that is really delayed. Oh my god, reload the gun. <laughs> this isn't like the most <laughs> turd like. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> wow, that was anticlimactic, wasn't it? I just died. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, f need to run, boy. Need to run. Need to run. Get out of here. I need to get out of here. I need to. <laughs> I don't know. No. Slide. Get out of here. Run. Run like the boss I am. This is not even running. What is this? Why are you looking back? Just run. I'm not going anywhere. Just keep going straight. I don't even know what kind of running was that. We just put like some stupid music in the background. <laughs> God, that's over, you say. We're only just beginning. What am I actually doing? Uh, I'm gonna put this one like here. Oh my God, dude, this is such a pain in the ass. Are we done? Oh, thank God. And where am I? <laughs> She's dead. That's Jeremy. Jeremy, I need to understand what is going on. I promised him everything. The sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. Then what's all the business about Teruea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. This is definitely turning into a mind f game. Thank you! 
And in, it, what? So we found that. Got the achievement. And she's just really far. Well, that's been great, ain't it? But anyway, onwards, my friend. So now we're going to talk about my review and my experience on Alone in the Dark. Oh my god, dude. Alone in the Dark is actually a pretty fun game to play because the positives on the game are mainly the graphics look pretty good, the gameplay feels pretty smooth, and also like the setting that Alone in the Dark has done as well because you're always on the edge and you don't know if something's going to appear out of nowhere and jump scare the crap out of you. So you're always wondering what is going to happen next and that's what I actually really like about the game. And also the storyline is actually pretty decent. Like it's a little bit confusing when you play the beginning of the campaign like every video game ever. But once you get into it it's actually quite enjoyable but the only negatives about it is that the puzzles can be like sometimes okay but god they give you such a bad headache i mean that's the whole thing about puzzles which i understand but if you're the type of person that just cannot do puzzles at all i really would do not recommend this game and yes there are a few bugs and glitches in the game but that will get fixed eventually down the track so that's not really a big of a deal but honestly would i recommend alone in the dark absolutely if you're a fan of survival horror games and you just want to play something new instead of playing first person shoes and whatever i can't really say why not it sort of reminds me of the Resident Evil remakes, but I'm not really like close to it. But it's really all up to you. So if you want to play it, I mean, you can. I can't really say why not. Or you could wait later down the track for it to be a little bit more cheaper. But knowing my luck, I bought the game full price because I'm such a dama. But besides that, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. Make sure you guys subscribe because we've got more videos on the way. But besides that, everybody, my name's Jonathan. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And I have no idea what the video is going to be. So anyway, I'll see you guys later.